Welcome my Earth Angel friends to the month of June and our messages from the angels video for this month. My name is Reverend Nina Rowe, I'm founder of angelsteach.com. I can already tell, in fact, when I was getting ready for this, this video, I, I feel like the angels are in a really playful mood. They do love to help us to find joy, to play, to relax, and do all those things that so nurture the soul, and yet we often overlook. So there's just this undercurrent, I'm going to say this before I even start to pull the cards, there's an undercurrent of uh, playfulness, almost mischievousness, but really more emphasis on playfulness. So for this month's reading, I'm going to use the Gaia Oracle deck by Tony Carmen Salerno, and I'm being guided to pick two cards, at least to begin with. Again, the angels do seem to have something up their sleeve. I do this, I just shuffle until I hear stop or feel stop. That's why you'll see me shuffle different numbers of times, usually three. Okay. <clears throat> the first card is achievement. And the second card is sacred earth mother. Beautiful, very, very focused cards, you'll notice. Now, usually, in fact, 99% of the time, when I do an angel reading, and certainly what I teach my students, is that we don't necessarily focus on the words, we don't use the guidebook. Now, that doesn't mean that there aren't wonderful messages in the guidebook, because of course there are. It's really when I have this conversation with my students, it's about really attuning to your own intuition. And sometimes your own intuition is going to say, hey, take a look at the guidebook, take a look at the words on the cards. And sometimes your own intuition is going to be, huh, you know what? When I look at this flower in achievement, I think lotus, I think Lakshmi, I think opening up, I think I feel wealth, and I really go down, down my own path of uh, what we call the angelic uh, vocabulary and really tuning into what the meaning is from my own perspective and certainly what I want all of my students and encourage you to do as well is tuning into your own interpretation of the cards. That said, I am getting the message that for the achievement card there's a message, hopefully I can do this without my glasses, this is card number 17. So I'm already noticing that numer from a numerology perspective, it's the number 8, which is the infinity sign. <clears throat> Being guided to read the affirmation for this card, I give thanks for the blessings that I receive each day. All is possible for me now. All doors are open. I invite prosperity into my life. I embrace new opportunities. Now immediately I'm realizing the connection between what I shared with you before, the lotus flower making me think of the goddess Lakshmi. Lakshmi is associated with wealth and prosperity and beauty, so already there's a correlation there, an overlap. And okay, the other piece I want to emphasize here, just using my finger to go to the sentence that the angels want me to read to you. And they're wanting me to share, this is only the beginning. Much more can be accomplished provided you keep focused on your dream. Remember what is truly important to you. It may be helpful to set a new goal. This could be bigger and more fulfilling than you ever imagined. Beautiful, beautiful message there. So what I'm being encouraged to suggest that you do this month is to take a look at this image. You can see it there right on the video and just pause the video for a moment and really look at this card, all of it. Absorb the energy from it and tune into what are your priorities for your dreams right now. The summer is a time when many of us go in different places. We take a lot more time for rest and relaxation, for play, uh, for spending time with families and friends, and 
It is also a good time to be focused on your dream for that very reason, or I should say dreams, because dreams manifest much more easily in a relaxed mindset, in a relaxed way. So when we approach life from a, I'm going to accomplish my dream, I'm going to work, work, work to make it happen, we're actually putting out the message in the energy of pushing it away. Whereas when we relax into the flow during the summer months, it's actually a really good time to really take a look at your dreams, make sure that they are sound, what you have in store, and then really kind of put them on the shelf for the summertime for the angels to manifest for you. Because ultimately, that's how it all works anyways. So the angels are really encouraging all of us to, uh, to do that, to take advantage of these more relaxed, going with the flow kinds of energies that come with summertime. The second card, the Sacred Earth Mother, a uh, beautiful image, very drawn of course to the heart, but also to those three orbs that are underneath it. And uh, <laughs> this is where the playfulness is coming in, because what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is a snowman. And for those of you who have ever made a snowman, you make three, typically speaking anyway, three uh, balls, spheres of snow, and then you put one on top of the other to make your snowman. Of course, it is June, so snowman imagery is a little uh, seemingly out of sync here, but of course it's not. What this is leading to, and I'm just tuning in for a moment here to get a little bit more detail. It's interesting, the message I'm getting is that it's about the melting of your dreams. It's about the, the pulling back, and it's actually a lot of emphasis on what came forward in the first card, and really allowing your dreams to melt. And <laughs> this is where the angels can sometimes use a little strange terminology. Uh, but what they're getting at here is allowing them to dissolve into the arms of the angels and really allowing the angels to manifest on your behalf. Again, going back to what I said before, we as human beings, especially in our modern stressful go, go, go society, can be so focused on do, do, do. And yet, what we're really here to do, most of us anyways are designed this way, to just receive and to set the GPS for the direction that we want to go. Again, define what those dreams are and then let that melt away and allow the angels to take care of how that all happens for you. We, as those human beings, really have nothing to do with the how something is manifest or the when something is manifest. Our job is simply to set the GPS of what our soul wants to be creating, what our soul is dreaming of, and then step out of the white way and follow the guidance of our angels to show us the how, to show us the wind. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that as they show us the how and the when, we really follow that path, it unfolds. And I'm being drawn back to the achievement card, the lotus, what I'm seeing in my mind's eye is that, that flower just opening as we follow the hows and the winds guided by our angels. Now I want to find out, I feel like there's another little magic trick, so to speak. They want me to pick one more card. Ah, they want me to do it from the book. So you'll see the image on the video, but I'm going to choose the card by just doing something I'd love to do. Just pick up a book. You can do this with any book, even a dictionary. Pick up a book and just let your heart say, stop, right there. Aha! There's two cards here. There's the Tree of Life and the Moonlight Goddess, but what I'm being drawn to is the Tree of Life. One of my favorite cards, actually, and you'll see that there's 
heart imagery in here as well as many other sacred symbols and I'm being reminded of a sacred geometry book that I was looking at this morning and just the importance of remembering that we are all energetic beings that while yes I feel solid, my chair feels solid, my head feels solid, that we are still made up of lots of sacred geometric uh, expressions, symbols, and that we call it in human design, we call it the energetic expression. And that these shapes, these symbols, are all so very important to understanding how we can use our instruments, our vehicles, in a successful fashion. So definitely uh, a point to remember is, and I'm hearing the magic theme again, is the magic is all about remembering how you're made and remembering that what it is that makes you successful is something to uh, reinforce and to keep doing. Because so many times when we run up against something that feels so hard, feels so difficult, we feel like we need to keep doing it. We, we need to prove to somebody or something or, or some authority that we can do it. We just have to push harder. And that's not what the angels want us to do. What they're inviting us to do is look at where we are successful and focus on that. That is magic. Because that's stepping into who you really are and letting go of any expectations from anyone else. Alright, so one more affirmation here they want me to share with you. I am the master of my own destiny. All I truly desire, I create. All I create, I create through love. All I create is for the higher good of all. I am truly blessed and grateful for all the abundance in my life. And so it is. And with that, I wish you a beautiful month of June. That playfulness message is about remembering that magic of who you are and really tapping into that. And one of the best ways to tap into that is to let go of all expectations from the outside world. Just go with the flow. Take advantage of that playful, carefree, summertime feeling and let that magic surface within you. Be well, my dear angels. Next time.